friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video, guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really do appreciate it, and I love you guys for it even more, guys. I'm over here with a hamster. He's over there. Um, yes, guys, we're just going to. Um, we're just on our way to pack and save to go get that other little groceries that we told you guys that I told you guys about. So. <coughs> Guys, it's raining and it's cold. I ran back for our other jacket, guys, because I had on like a body vest, and I'm like, mm, 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 no ways, that's just too cold. And you know what? I realized Sage didn't give my umbrella, but oh. and it's raining. That's my son, that's his nickname, guys. <laughs> so, um, Sage. So I uh, don't have an umbrella, I don't think I've got his umbrella. So this, wow, is, this is gonna be fun. But um, the thing is guys, um, we don't need a lot today. So it shouldn't take too long in the shop. Because, yeah, just going straight past the fruit and beach. You must just look for strawberries. If they have, I don't know. And then just a small stop of the meat and then carry it on. So yeah, that's what we're doing. But now me and the hubs are very naughty guys. We decided to pop in for a, just a quick, quick, quick coffee on our way. And then we're gonna go. So we're gonna go up to a place here in Berkeley, the junction. It's also a really nice coffee shop. So we're gonna pop in there and just warm ourselves up and then we're gonna hit the road to the shop. Yeah, guys, today is actually a public holiday, so it's just like laid back and stuff. But I think this video is only gonna come out tomorrow, so it's just gonna be like laid back and stuff. And I, I need to do some ironing that I didn't do since Saturday, <laughs> so yeah, just some little small things on the agenda for today. So, guys, just come with us, hang with us, and um. Let's just enjoy this day before the big rush again tomorrow, the school run, everything, the normal mom life things. Just going to pack and save quickly. It's raining, guys. Sun is shining a little bit, but then it's mostly just raining. So, um, we just brought the bags with us to pack it. Maybe and then, I'll get you inside off some fun, yeah? Hey, oh, you're gonna Maybe. bring the car near? Yeah, oh, oh, no, no, it's fine. I can take the bags. Yeah. Okay, see you inside. Marco? Marco, he has even one here. Okay. Oh, guys, it's raining. Let's go quickly.
Okay, guys, we're all done. And these groceries, guys, come out to two fifty now. But we put, I think, a fifteen dollars on the Christmas club, guys. So we just gonna two fifty. Two fifty. Yeah, two fifty, guys, um, including Christmas club funds. Okay. And they have been already packed in the meat, there, guys. Baby, do you mind if you pack an I just full? Hmm? Are you okay? Yeah. If I don't know, packing. Okay. These some milk guys, and um, we've got some chili beans there, um, peanut butter. I think two tins of tomatoes, and then some Oreos. Oh, you know what? I forgot to get them for their school lunchbox. The fun sticks. It's okay. They must. It's just four days of school. Um, they for some coffee, guys. I've never tried. Sorry, quickly, baby. I've never tried this one before, guys. So we're gonna try the Makona. Uh, I think I had it once, but I didn't have the hazelnut. Some juice over there, guys. Some rubbish um, bags, umbrella um, cream for the hair, underarm. Some lunchbox um, snacks and just one. Because um, I want to make chili guys, so I brought, brought the corn chips. Um, have these vine biscuits, popcorn, um, cheese and bacon nut bread. And then we have the vocal bread over there, guys. We have white bread. This is a broccoli. Um, another school lunch snack. We've got croissants, serviettes. Guys, this is a rotisserie chicken just because I want to um, debone it and make two meals out of it for the week. The other alternative was to buy a frozen chicken, but um, brown <laughs> bread frozen chicken in the cooler bag frozen chicken but then I had to like put it in the slow cook and stuff and it was just better to do it this way okay what more rice basmati rice snacks two minute noodles um that's a Mexican this is a Mexican taco mix guys mm -hmm. uh, yeah um gummies for school chicken stock crackers we got a pineapple a white vinegar um, a chocolate for the week we've got more chicken stock we've got foil toilet paper and then we bought the um, big pack of seaweed guys my daughter really loves it and we just thought uh, we're just gonna get the big pack because then that can last for some time she's the only one that eats that and yeah so that is it guys so guys, as you remember the other day in Henderson, we spent um, $110, $15. So all in all, guys, this groceries now came out to about $350 for the week. It's a bit over. We, we want to try and just keep it like to $300. But, um, oh, 300, but it's, it's, it's very difficult, guys. Things are just, it's just so much. And then I think it's like, if we buy like, I don't always buy croissants and I don't always buy that knotted um, savory bread, stuff like that. We have to buy coffee this week. Coffee is also like, what was it, $9? $8. Eight dollars something. Um, yeah, it all adds up at the end of the day. Have a snack, guys. I'm not... Was I open it for you? Um, I'm thinking of... Okay, I'll just leave it here if you want it. Yeah, guys, so now we're just gonna head on home quickly and yes, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna make for lunch slash dinner today. We still have a bit um, leftover food of yesterday, but that's not gonna be enough for everybody, but we'll see. I'll share it with you guys. Hey guys, so for lunch slash dinner, I decided to make sweet and sour chicken. I had pork, 
marinate but it's fine you can use chicken or fish and then you need eggs a pineapple and some flour um, I didn't end up using the pineapple because it was too green I forgot to buy tin pineapple and I didn't have capsicum you can use capsicum as well and I'm just boiling water to um, steam some broccoli for us to go with the food so here's the um, chicken the egg and the flour so what you do is you just take your chicken dip it in the egg dip it in the flour and then put it in the pot with your hot oil um, but I got fed up of the pot halfway through it was taking so long and I just dish, ditched it for my pan which I should have used in the first place and then um, I had the pan and the pot going it smelled really nice it didn't come as crispy as I would have liked it to be but that's fine it was still so so delicious guys and it smelled really really nice so the end result looked something like this when the chicken is done you just throw the sauce over um, some fam family members already ate so um, this is what was left I'm just showing that is how the sauce looked and then we had some rice and some broccoli some green beans and that was still some chops and potato stew we had left from the night before everything tasted delicious the next day hello guys it is a few days later and i just realized i didn't end this video off last time when i was making that sweet and sour chicken which was amazing guys i don't have any footage to show because that day i had a lot of ironing to do so i literally just put some food in a bowl for me and i was ironing and eating at the same time so yeah mom life and um anyway so guys um have a good day slash night wherever you are um as you guys saw this morning i'm just 0.2 down from last week but as long as the scale is going in the right direction guys i'm happy so um yeah there's a lot going on in my life guys um good things good things god is good god is on the throne he's an absolutely good god lots of things going on in my life guys and um yeah so i'm just trying to find a balance between everything and yes and to keep it moving keep it moving guys so um the same to you on your side guys um if you're very busy in your life there's busyness going on um yeah just try to find that balance and um do as much as you can for that day don't push yourself don't over exert yourself just take it in your stride and um yeah and have fun have fun along the way because we are living in um exciting times guys i know it looks very dark you can just see that but just remember i said this on my facebook page today remember that the darkness will never be greater than the light light always wins and what we see it's just like it's not real you know things are happening of course things are happening but um nobody's going to tell you about the miracles that's happening in the world right nobody's going to tell you about the revivals that's happening in the world nobody's going to tell you about the kids that are being saved in this world nobody's going to tell you that are they no they're going to blast you with all the negativity because they want to get you down despondent discouraged um yeah all those things that's why guys i'm very careful what i listen to and who i listen to too because i don't want the enemy's frequency inside of me i don't want it to be stuck to my soul i choose to for myself for the things of god and um yeah so this is exciting times rather trial times trying times but exciting times and um if you're on the right side you have nothing to fear guys if you're on god's side you have absolutely nothing to fear the word tells us we shouldn't fear that's what god says do not be anxious about anything do not fear trust me trust me and guys sorry this is not going to go into a, 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 a sermon but um you know guys what was very interesting i listened to somebody today and they were saying like you know if you're in a relationship or a marriage you know and you tell your husband or wife i don't trust you that hurts the next person right and they brought it over so beautifully because it's true if god tells us in his word that we should not fear we should not be anxious we should not these 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 and um the light will always be greater than the darkness and the light wins the light will win the light has already won we're just living it out just because 
it's the battles already won we're still fighting guys we have to still fight because we're still on this earth but it's already won okay and um yeah and they were just saying like how, sh how must god feel if if you um you know um feed into all this craziness that's going on and it's like you're saying but i don't trust god although god said so such such and such and i know it's not easy guys but um yeah that's why you must just carry on in faith stay prayerful have faith and um yeah stay in your word guys that's all stay in your word because the word is solid it's a solid and um yeah but anyway guys let me go let me go see ya see ya guys i brought work with me i've still got things to do so guys i'm gonna love you i'm gonna leave you stay strong stay blessed stay encouraged and love yourself guys because why you are absolutely worthy of all the love in the world and don't let anybody tell you any differently point blank period okay so love you guys and thank you for watching and i appreciate you guys so so much love you bye